In this video, I'm going to share with you how you can fast track and grow your career. I have been blessed that I have been in a position to help so many people grow in their careers and the kind of feedback they give me just overwhelms me. Take a look at this email I got from Cheriot. He told me, I am pleased to inform you that I successfully applied and interviewed by the county government and offered an employment opportunity. This was after I completed my monetary evaluation short course with your institution and an updated CV I also obtained from your expert services. Thanks a lot. I will also need to enroll with you for a project planning and management very soon. Thanks in advance. Regards, Cheriot. So without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to Daniel Mutuku Show, where I help professionals become successful in their careers. And if this is your first time here, I would like to ask you, please subscribe to my channel, press the bell button so you can get to know each and every time I release a new video. It is in our human nature to always grow, to always expand beyond the spaces that we find ourselves in. And if you have been in your career or in a certain position for a very long time and you don't see any opportunities of progressing, then you are stuck in your career. And there's some internal struggle within you where you feel either very unsatisfied or you feel like you should be somewhere further ahead than you are right now. And it is okay. It is human nature to always grow and pursue more challenges so that we can grow and become better and i want to share with you when it comes to your career what do you need to do to be able to progress what do you need to do to fast track that growth so that you can get to where you want to be faster and i want to suggest to you three things that you can be able to do number one i want you to identify where do you want to be in those five ten years have a goal know what is it that you are working towards identify what position is it that you want to be in? Is it a company that you are looking forward to working? Write it down, say, this is the company I want to be in the next five or 10 years. Is it a certain industry that you want to get into? Is it the work arrangement? You want a flexible job that can allow you to work at home or will allow you to travel around the world or identify where do you want to be in those 10 years or in the next five years? you decide the period of time. But when you're working with a goal, essentially I'm telling you, you need to set a goal. When you're working with a goal, it is better than when you're just shooting left, right, center. You don't know what you are aiming for. When you set a good goal, it is the set of the sail. Unlike a ship without a sail, when you put it at the show, the wind will blow and it will go anywhere. But we don't want to go anywhere. Only a ship that has the sail set right will arrive at the destination. And remember, we keep on shifting and adjusting the sail so that we end up where we want to be. So the first thing I want you to be very clear is where do you want to be in the next 5, 10, 15 years? Number two, I want you to understand that you need to put in the work. When it comes to growing and achieving your goals, you need to put in the work, number one, in terms of attitude. You need to have the right attitude. Are you the kind of person who always sees possibilities or you're the person who always sees this won't work? You are the negative person. You have that negative attitude. You always complain and you don't see things working out. You need to work on your attitude. You should be very positive, hopeful, and always see the brighter side of things. They might not look like that at that particular point, but when you dig deep, you will always see the positive side of the situation or that specific thing that has happened. As you cultivate a positive attitude, you will also need to work on your mindset. Have a winning mindset, a growth mindset, a mindset that allows you to see way beyond what things are right now. And don't feel like you are fixed or things are meant to be that way and there's no opportunity for them to change or grow. Have that growth mindset. Also, you need to put in the work in terms of effort. You need to go over and above what is expected of you. If you're the kind of person who always reports at 7.59 and by 5.01, you are out of the office. 
I can assure you that is not the right of effort. You need to put in the effort and go over and above what is expected of you. And I can assure you if you do that consistently, not just to show off, but you're putting it the work, you're putting it the effort so that you can achieve the mission or the vision of the company. You are helping them and you are becoming a valuable employee. I can assure you someone will notice and when you notice, you will have opened up the doors for you to have that career growth and progress in your career. That is one of the secrets of how people get promoted, how people get to grow, how people get more responsibilities because they have shown they are not afraid of putting in the work because up there, there is a lot of work and we need people who can work, people who don't need to be supervised, to be constantly looked after. They know what needs to be done and they will put the effort, they will put the energy and ensure that it gets done. And the third thing, I want you to consider your environment. What, who are the people that you hang around with? Who are the people in your inner circle? Jim Rohn said that you are the average of the five people you hang around with. So it is important for you to evaluate your friends. The people that you hang around with, are they people who are helping you get closer to where you want to achieve? in your career? Are they the people who are messing up with your attitude and are bringing in the idea of complaining? They never see things working or they're always on the negative side because if those are the kind of people that you're hanging around with, of course, they will affect your attitude and that will also affect your performance. So always surround yourself with people that you look up to or people who have the same mindset and the same attitude towards growing and going further in their careers. When you're thinking about your environment, also ask yourself, do you have someone who is mentoring you? It is important for you to have a mentor because they can guide you and help you get where you want to get to faster and grow your career faster. Having a mentor also helps you cut down the time that takes for you to grow in your career, avoiding the mistake they went through and gives you a head start over someone who doesn't have a mentor. You will also need a career coach. I am a career coach and I help professionals in growing their careers. I'm able to come in and help you with the right skills when it comes to negotiating for a higher salary, how to be able to plan out your career, interviewing skills and CV writing. I also want to invite you to my coaching program known as The Badass Pro. I define my own destiny. I am very proud to say that I am a badass pro. Badass is an acronym and PRO stands for professional. So let me break it down what the Badass stands for. Badass, the B stands for an individual who is bold, audacious, courageous, and they will do what needs to be done to be able to get the job done. An individual who is authentic to themselves and to their skills, they know their potential. An individual who is driven, who does not need to be constantly supervised for them to perform a certain task. An individual who is aggressive, who will go and grab what they believe is theirs. Nothing is going to be given to you on a silver platter. You need to go and grab it. Be aggressive. As much as you are aggressive, it is also important for you to be assertive. So also A stands for someone who is aggressive and assertive. An individual who is skilled. It is the skills that will get the job done. The skills will be able to help you stand out from the rest of everyone. It is not the experience or qualification that really matters. It is the skills. But I recognize you can get the skills from the experience. You can get the skills from your qualification. So we are focused on the skills and an individual who is self-assured. They are confident of themselves. I had this quote that in this race of life, without confidence, you are defeated twice. So it is important for you to have that confidence. The Badass Pro is a six weeks coaching program. And if you want to know more details on what you will learn during these six weeks, I want to invite you to go to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass. Go there, find out what you will exactly learn in the program and then make sure you register for the program. I know right now the class is almost full, but don't worry, just sign up. I will put you in the waiting list and when the opportunity opens again, I will be able to get in touch with you. Again, head over to www.careerpoint.co.ke forward slash badass. Also, take a look at this video on how to write a professional CV. Make sure you like this video, 
leave a comment and subscribe to the channel and until next time i'm out